All right, so I have a new tip for you. Uh, and this is going to be a different angle uh, than my previous tips, but bear with me. So this tip is about changing the profile and the transparency of your Kitty terminal. So here's what I'm thinking. I got my Kitty terminal here, but I also have this interesting background that I like to let it shine through. And the, here's what I did. I made a custom bash script called toggle Kitty transparency, which will tap into the Kitty config files and it will change the background transparency. So now if I reload Kitty config with command escape and sort of command control and comma, we'll see that the background right here is a bit uh, transparent and there's also blur. So it looks so much better now, if you ask me. Uh, and I have a video background, but uh, if you have um, an image background, this will also uh, work just fine. So in this video, I want to show you how, how I managed to achieve this effect. So let's go to the kitty configuration. First, in the current theme.config file. Uh, I'm basically sourcing this config file. I'm, I'm including it into the uh, main kitty config file. So this is just defining the colors of my uh, kitty terminal. But at the bottom, I've added background opacity to 0.9. So it is actually transparent and background blur 32. This is like the radius. So if I change this to, for example, eight, save and reload, you'll see that you're going to see a bit more details in the background around here. So I like it as a 32. It's I think it's a personal preference. Yeah, play with the value. So these are here. And this is how the the with these two values is basically how you toggle the or achieve transparency and also blur. So there's the current theme, which gets included into the kitty.conf. And in order to toggle between the transparency is by creating a simple bash script that grabs for background opacity 0 0.9. So for example, if if this value or if this property is defined in this file, which we just saw, uh, that means it's transparent. So we need to make it opaque, right? So we're setting it to one. And I'm doing that with the sed or set command. And I'm echoing done reload kitty config. Uh, else, for example, if the background opacity is set to one, that means we need to toggle it back to 0 0.9. And these are values that can also be defined as variables. But uh, to be honest, I was just lazy. So I just hard coded all of these because it's not too much work uh, to change them. And then done reload kitty config. And then there's an else case in case there is no background opacity. 0 0.9 or just one or maybe the file doesn't exist it'll let you know there's no background opacity present in the current kitty theme so just go ahead and check it out yourself so this is the script and you saw me toggle the kitty transparency right from the cli and the way that i'm doing that is that through the zshrc file so in this file i'm basically configuring an alias um, right here, I'm configuring an alias that simply invokes that bash script that we just saw, right? So when you do that and you source your ZSH file, you have access to, to that alias that you just defined. And I'm pretty much doing the same thing for the profile as well. So if I do change kitty profile, which is also defined as a as an alias uh, function, or it's maybe it's not an alias; it's just a function in Zush. If I just do this, it'll ask me, it'll prompt me for a profile. I want the coding profile, or I want the screencasting profile. Right now, we're in the screencasting profile, so let's go into the coding profile, get in the flow, and now I can reload the config file, and we can see that the the font file is a a bit too small for you but it's just enough it's just all right for me and that's why i also have this change kitty profile screencasting so that i can make the font bigger right and i can easily change these two 
here's how I achieve that. I have two separate configurations for coding and for screencasting. And I could have done this a lot simpler, but maybe that's the next step that I want to take. And it's just a, a whole copy paste of the kitty configuration. And I'm just simply changing the font right here. This is definitely an overkill. You could include that this config file that only uh, changes the font file and the line height and the font. But that's basically it. I have two different config files, one for the screencasting and one for the coding, which changes the font size. And the change profile script, similar to the previous one, to the, tr the, to the toggle transparency, um, it prompts me for a profile. If we select the first profile, which is coding, then I'm removing the kitty.conf um, file and I'm copying the coding configuration file into the, 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 like the main configuration file. And I'm just echoing get in the flow. Same thing happens in the second option. If, for example, I am, uh, if I pick screencasting, then I'm going to delete the kitty.conf the main one, and I'm going to replace it basically with the screencasting configuration. So one thing that I am missing right now is to make Kitty automatically um, reload its configuration after doing these things, and then also after doing these things. So I tried, uh, I tried the Unix socket approach, but for some reason I couldn't make it work. This is something that I need to look. Um, this is something that I need to look into to how to actually fix it. It's not a big deal, at least for me. For example, when I hit toggle kitty transparency, all I need to do is command control comma, and there we go. the The configuration is reloaded. But just for you know, just to just to be fancy, uh, I know there's a way to reload or to make kitty reload its configuration programmatically i just haven't had the time to look into it so if you know how to achieve that if you know how to make kitty reload its configuration do let me know in the comments and this is what i wanted to show you for for this video basically how to achieve the background opacity in man blur in kitty and then also how to toggle it when you need it or not Okay, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, all the bells and whistles, click on them and share this video with your friends if you like them. See you in the next one.